ഹായ് ഗായ്സ് ഇന്ന് നമ്മൾ ഡിസ്കസ് ചെയ്യാൻ പോകുന്നത് റിബ്സിനെ കുറിച്ചാണ് സോ ഓടി നിന്ന് റിബ് റിബ് എന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് എ ഫ്ലാറ്റ് റിബൺ ലൈക്ക് തൊറാസിക് ആർച്ച് വിച്ച് എക്സ്റ്റെൻ ബിറ്റ്വീൻ അവർ തൊറാസിക് വേർട്ടിബ്രി പോസ്റ്റീരിയർലി ആൻഡ് അവർ സ്റ്റേണം ആൻറ്റീരിയർലി സ്റ്റേണായിട്ട് ആൻറ്റീരിയർലി കണക്ട് ചെയ്തിരിക്കുന്നു എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാലും ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് നോട്ട് ഡയറക്ട്ലി കണക്റ്റഡ് ടു ദ സ്റ്റേണം ഇൻസ്റ്റെഡ് ദി ആർ അറ്റാച്ച് ടു ദ സ്റ്റേണം വിത്ത് ദ ഹെൽപ്പ് ഓഫ് കോസ്റ്റൽ കാർട്ട്ലേജസ് so a rib plus a costal cartilage is called costa normally or human body le there are 12 pair of ribs pakshe due to abnormalities they may be 13 pair or more than that or less than 12 that is 11 or 10 bones are usually arranged from top to bottom one below the other and the gap between each one of them is called an intercostal space Uh, the length of the rib increases from 1 to 7th rib so in our body the longest rib is the 7th rib and from 7th rib onwards the length is gradually getting decreased now moving on to the classification of ribs there are different bases for the classification of ribs the first one is according to the features according to the features ribs can be classified as typical and atypical ribs typical ribs they are the ribs starting from 3rd to 9th rib they share a common set of features which make them typical and atypical ribs they are having some particular special features uh, using which we can differentiate them from the typical ribs the next basis of classification is the attachment to the sternum the 1 to 7th rib they are called vertebral sternal ribs because they are attached posteriorly with the vertebrae and anteriorly to the sternum eight to 10 ribs they are called the false ribs or the vertebro chondro sternal ribs as the name suggests they are attached posteriorly to the vertebrae and anteriorly to the cartilage of the higher rib the next 11th and 12th rib they are called the floating ribs which are attached posteriorly only they do not have any anterior attachments so moving on to the typical rib nerthe parnu pole ne they are numbered from the 3rd to the 9th rib they share a common set of features aad namku typical rib inde parts ne kurichu nokkam first it is having an anterior end a posterior end and a low shaft extending between the anterior and posterior ends speaking about the anterior end it can be identified easily with the help of a cup shaped depression on its surface which is attached to the corresponding costal cartilage it with the costal cartilage form a primary cartilaginous joint called costochondral joint now about the posterior end posterior end is having a head a neck and a tubercle first about the head head is having two articular facets the upper one which is the smaller one and the lower one which is the larger one e lower larger articular facet corresponding aitla vertebrae nodana attach cheyirikkunnathu e mollulla smaller facet അതിന് തൊട്ട് മുകളിലുള്ള വെർട്ടിബ്രേനോടാണ് അറ്റാച്ച് ആയിരിക്കുന്നത് ഈ രണ്ട് ഫേസിറ്റ്സിന് ഇടയ്ക്കുള്ള ഒരു ഒരു റൈസ്ഡ് പോർഷൻ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് അറ്റാച്ച് ടു ദ കറസ്പോണ്ടിങ് ഇൻറ്റർ വെർട്ടിബ്രൽ ഡിസ്ക് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് അബൌട്ട് ദ ഹെഡ് നെക്സ്റ്റ് ഇസ് അബൌട്ട് ദ നെക്ക് നെക്ക് ഇസ് ദ കൺസ്ട്രക്റ്റഡ് പോർഷൻ ആഫ്റ്റർ ദ ഹെഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ഹാവിങ് ടു ബോർഡേഴ്സ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ദ സുപ്പീരിയർ ആൻഡ് ഇൻഫീരിയർ ബോർഡർ and two surfaces that is the anterior and the posterior border next is the neck neck is the constricted part after the head it is lying in front of the transverse process of corresponding vertebrae it has two borders that is the superior and inferior border and two surfaces the anterior and posterior surface after the tubercle ne kurichana parayunnathu tubercle is located on the outer surface of the rib between the neck and shaft of the rib idina rendu parts aanu ullathu oru medial articular part which is having an oval facet and a lateral non articular part which is rough 
the medial articular part is attached to the transverse process of corresponding vertebrae and the non articular part which is rough is getting attached to the ligaments moonamta bhagam shaft ana shaft is thin and flat and extend between the anterior and posterior ends it is having two surfaces that is the outer surface and the inner surface and two borders the upper and the lower border and two angles that is the posterior and anterior angle ini nammal nokka povunnathu ribbinte side determination um anatomical position um aanu first about the side determination it should be held in such a way that the anterior end which is having a cup like depression should face anteriorly then the posterior part which is having a head neck and the tubercle should face posteriorly and the long shaft which is having the convexity facing outside and the sharp border of shaft we can feel that is facing inferiorly you should note that the posterior end should be at a little higher level and close to the median plane than the anterior end ini nokunnathu shaft inde borders ne kurichana the shaft is having a superior or upper border and the inferior or lower border first about the superior border superior border it is thick and rounded and have an up, outer lip and an inner lip the outer lip give attachment to the external intercostal muscles and the inner lip is giving attachment to the internal intercostal and intercostalis intimus muscles now about the lower border lower border it is the sharpest border of a rib and this border is giving attachment that is the origin of the external intercostal muscle now about the surfaces a rib is having an outer surface and an inner surface as i told before it is having a posterior and anterior angle the inner surface its main feature is the presence of a costal groove the costal groove is less prominent moving anteriorly it is having an upper lip a lower lip and a floor the upper lip of costal groove is giving attachment to the intercostalis intimus muscle and the lower border is giving attachment to the external intercostal muscle and it is having a floor which is giving attachment to the internal intercostal muscle the floor of the costal groove is lodging the nerves and vessels in the order from above downwards the intercostal vein intercostal artery and intercostal nerve so it can be remembered with a mnemonic van v a n from above downwards that is the vein artery and the nerve so ipo nammal ore typical rib in parts ne patti padichu any as a whole or kind of moon characteristic features and the typical rib in first one it is curved along its whole extent rendamatha point it is angulated it is having two angles one posterior and one anterior angle the third point is it is twisted such that if we place it on a horizontal plane the both ends do not touch the same plane so curved angulated and twisted which can be re- remembered by the mnemonic cat appo a typical ribbine kuriche basic aayittu arayana karyam ithrayana that's all about it thank you Thank you.